Meister. Like he's the master of dance for the Edelweiss Volkstanzgruppe and uh, the TEV Edelweiss Volkstanzgruppe. In addition to that, he's the president. I didn't say vice president. I didn't say cabinet member. I said the president of the North American Federation of German Folk Dance Groups. That's, that's very important. And uh, I'll, let, I'll let Ron introduce the other people who are here today and tell you a little bit about what, what they're going to be doing. So a warm welcome. Klatschen Sie für Ron Gehauf. Guten Tag. Uh, I am Ron Gehauf, and these are some members of our group from the Edelweiss Volkstanzgruppe. We have Mel and Mary Leister and Amy Hessler, and my wife is hiding over in the wings over here. The uh, dances that we do are traditional dances from Germany. The uh, dance group was formed 15 years ago to help preserve the customs and costumes of German-speaking regions. We do dances of all regions. If uh, you had a preconceived idea when we said folk dancers, you probably thought of guys standing around in lederhosen. Is that right? Kind of. Okay. <laughs> You're normal then. <laughs> Uh, what we are wearing, uh, the men particularly, are wearing Bundhosen, or knickers, as it's known uh, in English. Uh, these are from some of the lower regions of Bavaria, southern Germany, as opposed to the Alpine regions where they wear the leather pants, the lederhosen. The women are wearing dirndls, which is very common in the southern regions of Germany. We're going to do a couple of dances for you. This first dance that we're going to do is a dance from a region which is as far south in German influence as you can get. It's from a region called the South Tyrol. And the dance is called the Liesener Deutscher. South Tyrol is, uh, as you would expect, in the Tyrolean Alps. But on the south side, you're now in Italy. The northern regions of Italy still today speak German and have German heritage. If you go there, they'll still ask you to please speak German because that is their language and their heritage. So this dance, Liesner Deutscher, is from the South Tyrol.
Thank, thank you very much. Uh, as you notice, the dance had some plattling in it, which would you would expect from the Alpine regions. Hey, wait a minute. What? What's what's plattling? Plattling. Oh. The, the shoe slapping. You know all of that stuff that you you know expect from the Bavarians. Well, these aren't quite Bavarians. They're a little further away, and the plattling or the clapping is not as important in the South Tyrol as it is in Bavaria. So we're going to do one more for you, staying in the southern German regions, but we're going east now, I'm sorry, west, you get my geography right, go west into Switzerland. And this dance is called Nagelschmied, which would translate as the nail smith. Your young men start into a trade and the uh, first thing that they do is learn what is going on. Well, this is the trade of the blacksmith. And <laughs> hello. <laughs> uh, the, the blacksmith, you know, the young men start out. The first thing that they do is figure out what the equipment is, what they have to do to clean up the areas and help the master of the trade to uh, keep things going. The first thing that the young tradesman gets to make is the nails, which is the Nagelschmied. The nails, uh, it doesn't matter whether they're long or short or fat or thin. Every nail can be used. So it's the perfect job for the young uh, blacksmith as he's learning his trade. So nothing is wasted here. But being young, there's a lot of energy that goes into this dance. So from, the, from one of the German regions of Switzerland, the Nagelschmied.
So now.